Shalom, Yisrael. Before we do this, let us give praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. In the name of the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, who is salvation. By the power of the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit. Prayer. What is prayer, Yisrael? According to the world, prayer is a solemn request to God. They say it is a request when we ask God for something. Or the world says that prayer is an expression of thanksgiving when we're thanking the Heavenly Father for something that we have. As I examine this world today and I look around in this world, I see that many people do not believe in God. And those that do express belief in the Heavenly Father they don't believe in the Heavenly Father of this Bible. They reject his laws and they reject his children. However, I am not concerned with this world, Israel. This world will take care of itself. The Heavenly Father will take care of this world. I am concerned with you. Why am I concerned with you, you say? In the book of Chronicles, our Heavenly Father said, If my people, who are called by my name, would turn from their wicked ways and pray, then will I hear from heaven. In the book of Genesis, Yahakov wrestled with the angel. He wrestled with the messenger of the Most High God. The angel said, what is thy name? He said, my name is Yahakov. The angel said, no longer will you be called Yahakov, but Yisrael, for thou hast power with God. This is why I'm concerned with you, Yisrael. Our heavenly father said, if my people who are called by my name, if they turn from their ways and pray, then will I hear you are the descendants of Yahakov. The scripture says that you have power with God. I'm concerned with you. Let's go to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 6. We will begin at verse 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father, which is in secret, and thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. Our Heavenly Father teaches us to not pray as the heathen do. Okay? He said the heathen are hypocrites. Do not pray as they do. He said that they pray in vain. Let's read on. Let's find out how we're supposed to pray to the Heavenly Father. Verse 9. After this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen our lord taught us to pray in this manner our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name Notice that he says, our father, our father is Yahweh, and there is none like him. Our heavenly father said the gods of the nations are idols. 
I am your father and there is none like me. When our Lord sent Moshe unto Pharaoh and he told Pharaoh to let my people go. He said, my father, our Elohim, Yahweh, said to let my people go. Pharaoh looked at Moses and he said, who is Yahweh that I should obey his voice? Ten plagues later, Pharaoh and the Egyptians were ushering the children of Israel out of Egypt, giving them their gold, giving them their clothes, giving them their food and any and everything that they needed. That is who our father is. Our father is Shahawa. The scripture says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Notice that the kingdom of God is his will being done in earth. His will is already being done in heaven. In the book of Matthew, our heavenly father taught his children, what you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And what you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. When we obey our heavenly father, when we keep his commandments, when we seek after his will, what we bind on earth is bound in heaven and what we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. This is how we pray in accordance with the will of the Heavenly Father. He says, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. The Most High God taught us to pray for what we need. Not a Maserati, not a Lamborghini, not a 50,000 square foot house, but for what we need. Give us this day our daily bread. This is humble. He says that he knows what we need before we even ask. And forgive us our debts. A debt is a fault. He says, forgive us our faults. Our Heavenly Father loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son. And he said, look to Yahawashai for salvation. Verse 13, he says, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The scripture says to lead us not into temptation. Israel, there is a difference between sinning and living in sin. When we sin, we repent, we turn around and we seek our Heavenly Father's forgiveness. When we live in sin, we make a conscious decision to break the laws of the Most High God. Okay? And the Heavenly Father teaches us that when we live in sin, that He turns us over unto our lust and we perish. The scriptures teach us to pray that he lead us not into temptation. Do not turn us over, Heavenly Father, to our sin. Deliver us from our sin. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Amen. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him. If we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Remember, Israel, when we obey the Heavenly Father, when we keep his commandments, when we seek after his will, we have Power with God. We have power with our Father, Yahweh. He said that what you bind on earth is bound in heaven. What you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. When we pray to our Heavenly Father, we have the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything in accordance with His will, He heareth us. And if we know that He hears us, then we know that we have the petitions desired of him. The book of John, chapter 15, verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, 
But I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. The Heavenly Father said, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5, the Heavenly Father said, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. This is the Heavenly Father's will, and his will cannot be thwarted. He created you, Yisrael, in his will. He created you, Yisrael, to be his children. He created you, Yisrael, to have power with God. He said that when ye turn from your ways and keep my commandments, I will hear from heaven. He said, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. When we keep the commandments of the Most High, when we pray in accordance with his will, the scriptures promises us that whatsoever ye shall ask of Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, who is salvation, he will give it to you. This is the power that ye possess, Yasharala. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy, far or near. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captives and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives saying we have sinned and have done perversely we have committed wickedness and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies which led them away captive and pray unto thee toward their land which thou gavest unto their fathers the city which thou hast chosen and the house which I have built for thy name then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven thy dwelling place and maintain their cause the scripture says, if they sin against thee, if the children of Israel sinned against the most high God, Yahweh, and the scripture says, and they be delivered to the enemy. This is where you are now, Israel. You are in the land of your captivity. You have been carried away unto your enemies. The heavenly father says, if they shall bethink themselves, that word bethink means to remember. If you remember who you are, if you remember your covenant with your father, Yahweh, the scripture says, if you bethink yourselves in the land of your captivities and you repent, that word repent means to turn around. If you turn around from your wicked ways, as it says in the book of Chronicles, then will I hear from heaven. Our father says, if you repent and you return unto thee with all thy heart and with all thy soul in the land of your enemies, where ye have been carried away captive, then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place and maintain their cause. This is what we must do, Yisrael. We must repent. We must obey our Heavenly Father. We must keep his commandments. And then he will hear from heaven. When we do this, then we have power with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And what we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And what we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Notice that the scripture says in verse 48 
that if they pray unto thee toward their land which thou gavest unto their fathers have you ever noticed Israel that when you're looking at Islam whenever they pray in the open they take their shoes off and they face towards the east they're praying towards Yerushalayim they are imitating you Israel they are following the instructions that's written in scripture to pray towards your land I dwell here in the United States of America my ancestors were carried away to the west I face east when I seek my Heavenly Father towards my homeland Jerusalem my ancestors were taken from the east taken into the islands of Kingston Jamaica to mine sugarcane fields brought over to the United States in the gully islands of South Carolina turn and pray towards your land Israel from where you have been scattered and call upon the Heavenly Father our Father which art in heaven thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen shalom israel